Welcome dear students to another session of Histological Staining Techniques. In this session we will be discussing about what are vital stains. So these vital stains they are non toxic dyes. They help in the detection of cell structure and specific metabolic reactions within the cells. And a vital stain is a stain that can be applied on living cells without killing them. But it does not uh, say that it is uh, the cell will be living uh, forever. After some time, the, uh, the, the cell ultimately die because this is a chemical. So for, a for the time being, we can uh, view the structures inside the, inside the living cell. That is the purpose of using vitamin stains. It does not mean that it is uh, not at all toxic to the cell. Maybe it is a chemical, it, is, uh, it will be toxic, but it will not kill the cell at once. Uh, we will be able to see the uh, metabolic reactions or some other structures inside the living cell for a, a specified time depending upon the stain, depending upon the dye, vital dye. And after a period, after that period, the cell will be degrading in its function and it will be dying. So vital stains have been useful for, useful for diagnostic and surgical techniques in a variety of medical specialities. We are also we are using for is it in histology as well as it, uh, we are using it in medical field for several diagnostic uh, techniques. And in supravital, there are two types of staining with uh, vital stains. That is supravital staining and intravital staining. In supravital staining, living cells have been removed from an organism and then stained. Whereas in intravital staining, it is done by injecting or otherwise introducing the stain into the body. And these vital stains, they are capable of penetrating the cell membrane of the living cells due to, the, uh, due to their lipophilic property. And examples of the vital stains are Janus Green B, Neutral Red, Methylene Blue, Dripping Blue. And uh, first about Janus Green, uh, this is the description given in uh, Wikipedia about Janus Green B. It is a basic dye and a vital stain used in histology. It is also used to stain mitochondria supravitally. As it was introduced by Leonor Michaelis in 1900. The indicator Janus Green B changes color according to the amount of oxygen present in it. That's why we are using it to specifically to uh, stain mitochondria. So it changes color according to the amount of oxygen present. When oxygen is present, the indicator oxidizes, that is the dye, oxidizes to a blue color. So another the company, another chemical company, a famous chemical company, Mark, it has given the description about uh, Janus Green. Um, that is the, about the, the, the description they are given is uh, uh, the application of Janus Green uh, Janus Green B. It has been used in staining technique to determine cell density, to detect the presence of telocytes in trachea and lungs, and used as a dye to visualize bonken ducts inside lymphatic vessels of rabbits. These are the specific uses of Janus Queen B, mostly used um, for these purposes. And um, this Janus Queen B belongs to Finassian group of dyes. It is a dark green, dark brown, dark black powder. It is available in these colors. Maybe dark green or it is available in dark brown color and dark black powder. Janus Queen B should be oxidized to become color that we uh, said earlier. It is oxidized, it, it turned to uh, blue in color. Thus, this dye can be used to specifically stain mitochondria in living cells. It has been used to stain biomolecules, nucleic acids, chromosomes. In addition, it is also used to stain various living organisms, including fungi, yeast cell, brain, spinal cord, sperms, and tissue culture monolayer. Janus Green B acts as an anti malaria agent also. It also facilitates diagnostic assays and diagnosis of diseases related to amyloid accumulation. So the um, stain which is manufactured by Merck, it is, a biologically, uh, it is certified by Biological Stain Commission. It is stated likewise in their um, web page. Um, so these are the uh, certain properties of Janus Green B, which is a vital stain. This is uh, another, info, uh, uh, another few information is taken from a uh, book, Handbook of Biological Dyes and Stains, Synthesis and Industrial Applications by R. W. Saplins. So here the um, uh, names, other names of the dye, there will be 
uh, Merck index number is given here then uh, molecular formula molecular weight then the physical form dark green to dark brown to dark black powder then about the uh, synthesis then staining applications look at the staining applications biomolecules brain can be used to stain biomolecules brain spinal cord chromosomes dna embryos fungi lymph vessels mitochondria neurons nucleic acid sperms tissue culture monolayers yeast cells hairs the biological applications are anti malaria test and anti malaria agent diagnosis of disease related to analyte accumulation diagnostic assays it is used in detecting fungi the nucleic acids and sugars also the other industrial applications of this dye are copper electroplating electronic uh, devices semiconductor chips as adhesives in paints etc mm. next is about neutral red this is another vital stain so neutral red is a neurodin dye used for staining in histology it stains lysosomes red it is used as a general stain in histology as a counter staining combination with other dyes and for many staining methods together with tannous green b it is used to stain embryonal tissues and supravital staining of blood these are the main uses of neutral red and another chemical company uh, that is high media Uh, they are also manufacturing uh, neutral red indicator and according uh, to uh, their indications look at the uses of neutral red neutral red is a euro eurodin dye used for staining in histology it stains lysosome thread it is used as a general stain in histology as a counter stain combination with other dyes for many staining methods together with tannous green b it is used to stain embryonal tissues and provide the staining of blood can be used for staining golgi apparatus in cells and nasal granules in neurons in microbiology it is used in macongi agar and growth media to differentiate bacteria for lactose fermentation it acts as a ph indicator changing from red to yellow between ph 6.8 to 8 so these are the various uses of uh, neutral red indicator and we are uh, using uh, in staining embryonal tissues also to look at the uh, viable cells the various features of the uh, living cells in uh, embryonic studies so this is the product information given by merck on neutral red used for supravital staining of leukocytes in blood nuclear staining fluorescent staining polychrome staining counter staining in gram staining so these are the uses of neutral red then about the informations uh, uh, other informations given in handbook of biological dyes and stains synthesis and industrial applications by rw sapnels you can see the various um, informations on neutral red given in this book the other names are given here then about the molecular formula molecular weight in the physical form it appears uh, dark green or brownish black powder you can see it in the uh, appears in dark green or brownish black powder then about its solubility it is soluble in water ethanol ethylene glycol practically insoluble in saline the melting point is given ph range is given color change at ph is also given that's why it is used as an indicator for ph then uh, the staining applications are also given here it cells lysosomes nuclei nucleic acids retina used to stain all these then the biological applications are given uh, detecting pathogens bacterial infections treating neutralize macular degeneration used to treat burns cancer diabetes detect these uh, cancer uh, then um, applications there are applications in diabetes obesity fungal infections viral diseases then industrial applications are also given here next about methylene blue methylene blue is a cationic stain that is positively charged the blue dye and it binds to negatively charged parts of the cells such as nucleus and rna in the cytoplasm and it is a common stain for a large number of tasks including identification of bacteria cellular structure in both plant and animal cells we use it to identify various cellular structure in animal cells as well as plant cells and also it is used in cancer diagnosis some examples are methylene blue staining can be used as a useful diagnostic agent in large community based oral cancer screening program then methylene blue directed biopsies is 
the more accurate technique than random biopsy for diagnosing specialized columnar epithelium. Then again about methylene blue, certain details about methylene blue given in Journal of Anesthesiology Clinical Pharmacology. Methylene blue, an inhibitor of nitric oxide synthase and guanylate cyclase have many uses in medicine. So it is an inhibitor, inhibitor of nitric oxide synthase and guanylate, guanylate cyclase. And it has been found to improve the hypotension associated with various clinical states. It also improves hypoxia and hyperdynamic circulation in cirrhosis of liver and severe hypertopulmonary syndrome. It also results in transient and reproducible improvement in blood pressure and cardiac function in septic shock. So it is also used as a medication. This methylene blue is also used as a medication. This is from one of the uh, paper. This information is from one of the paper published in NCBI related uh, 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 journal in NCBI. That is Journal of Anesthesiology, Clinical Pharmacology. Then about uh, the information given in Wikipedia, methylene blue also known as methyl thioninium chloride is a medication aditive. As a medication, it is mainly used to treat methmo methemoglobinemia. Specifically, it is used to treat methemoglobin levels that are greater than 30% or in which these are symptoms despite oxygen therapy. So this methylene blue, it is both a vital stain as well as it is used as used in medications also. The above stated medications specifically. Then about trypan blue, this is also a vital stain. And trypan blue, it is an SO dye. It is a direct dye for cotton textiles. Also, in biosciences, it is used as a vital stain to selectively color dead cells or dead tissues or cells in blue. Live cells or tissues with intact cell membrane will not be colored. They will not take up the stain. So in a tissue or in a cell culture, there are uh, living cells. These living cells will not take up the dye because these living cells will be having intact cell membrane. But in, if in this cell culture there are dead cells, these cells will take up the dye and will be uh, shown in blue color. So that is the application of trypan blue. So this is uh, the information given by Merck on trypan blue solution which is manufactured by this particular company. Trypan blue is a dye used to distinguish between live and dead cells. It is a vital stain that is not absorbed by healthy viable cells but stain cells with a damaged cell membrane. This way, only dead cells can be counted. The method is sometimes referred to as dye exclusion method. So, trypan blue is mainly used for dye exclusion method. So, this is also another description given by trypan blue solution by Thermo Fisher Scientific on their product. So, trypan blue solution 0.4 percentage is routinely used as a cell stain to assess cell viability. It is mainly used to assess cell viability using the dye exclusion test. And this test is often performed while counting cells with hemocytometer during routine subculturing, but can be performed any time cell viability needs to be determined quickly and accurately. So mainly it is used to determine cell viability. How many cells are li li uh, living cells? How many are there cells which are dead? That is cell viability. In cultures we can use in uh, uh, counting uh, performed by cell counting using hemocytometer then we are counting cells in that case also we can use this so that we can assess how many cells are dead and how many cells are viable or living and this is also known as dye exclusion test so the dye exclusion test is based upon the concept that viable cells do not take up the impermeable dye that is this example for this tip and blue it will not be viable the living cells will not take up the dye but the dead cells they are permeable to the dye and take, they take up the dye. So they will be colored in blue color. So about the dye exclusion test, it is used to determine the number of viable cells present in a cell suspension. It is based on the principle that live cells possess intact cell membranes that exclude certain dyes. For example, dip and blue. 
eosin, propidium, whereas dead cells do not. So dead cells take up the dye and they will be shown in colored, blue colored when we are using trypan blue. So that is known as dye exclusion test. So this uh, trypan blue is mainly used in dye exclusion test. So these are some of the, there are again many more uh, vital stains. We are only discussing these four uh, vital stains. So vital stains are mainly used to stain living cells so that we, this, uh, we can view the structure and some other biomolecules inside the cell in living condition. And we cannot say it is completely non-toxic because these cells after a period of time will lose its viability, it will die after some time. So that's all about uh, vital stains. Uh, so I'm closing now for the time being. The next session we will be discussing about um, staining blood cells. Thank you for a patient listening.